morning, trucking junkies. We, uh, we're about 160 miles from, uh, St. Louis. We've been driving for a couple of hours already. And we're going to stop, uh, down at, uh, there's a, there's a Flying J, uh, off of 255 and we're going to stop there for our 30 minute break take a shower so whack we'll be pretty pretty close to Katusa tonight And if I get to Katusa, then we should be able to stay there at the customer. Man, that's bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Ouch. Ouch. Uh, so that's the plan for today. Also, I need to go... Uh, I need to find a Walmart, and if I if I can get to Katusa, I can uh, I should be able to drop and and bobtail over to a Walmart there in Tulsa or pretty close. Uh, I ripped a hole in my pants yesterday, the whole inseam all the way up from my knee to my crotch. That was awesome. So it's time for a new pair. So stay with me today. We're gonna drive. We have stopped at Flying J over here at, uh, it's right off of 255, but you have to take 64 to 157 to 255 because that stretch over there is just they're working on it so uh you kind of have to go around about but the good thing about that is nobody's coming off of 255 and coming here uh so it's usually pretty empty for right now um we've still got uh 389 miles to go we've gone about 300 miles today uh and still got uh we'll still have about five and a half hours so we'll it's possible we might actually make it but uh, we're going to go in here and get a shower while I'm on my 30. Get that done with and uh, be fresh and clean, which I like to be. And uh, also, I'm going to send a text to Wild Beard. He uh, sent me a, uh, uh, in the comments, wanted me to send him a text. So I'm going to send him a text. But uh, yeah, and then we'll get back on the road. Shower is done. Brakes done. The guy beside me had a nice looking puppy. And we're rolling. Uh, they were out of my brisk uh, lemonade and uh, the strawberry watermelon or strawberry melon. That's good stuff. They were completely out. The only thing they had was. Uh, uh, tea and lemonade or limeade or something like that. Watermelon and tea or something. I don't know. That might have been all right. I didn't try it. Uh, so I had a comment yesterday or day before or something like that, and uh, they said they were commenting on. Uh, uh, one of my older videos and it's the one where it said don't come to Maverick you know basically if you can't do these things don't come here you know 
and uh, <laughs> the comment, and and I, it's hard to get tone from text, okay? It just is, you know that. You know, your wife ever sends you a text and you think there's some tone in it and there's really not, and then you get in a fight. That's happened. But uh, I, I, I had a little hint of, of saw a little hint of uh, sarcasm in there, and it said, it said, uh, thanks for telling me I had to be on time or something like that. And uh, I just sent him a, a comment back and said, uh, you'd be amazed or you'd be surprised. And you really would. I mean, it, it, the, the amount of people that can't be somewhere on time or get up on time or, you know, or, you know, wake themselves up or whatever. Hi, lady. Walk across the road there. Okay. You know, it, You'd just be surprised at how many people can't do that. You know, they were never, either they were never either, you know, given the opportunity to do it on their own, or they refused to do it on their own, or whatever. We had people in our in my in my my uh, uh, CDL class that couldn't make it to, to the shuttle van on time. You know, uh, and they don't play about it. But you would, you would be absolutely amazed at the, the amount of people that struggle with getting somewhere on time. And they want to come out here and do this. A job that is strict on time. So, yeah, I hope I helped them out. And I hope I help out people make a decision on whether or not to come trucking or not. Because that's what I'm doing this for. You know, part of the reason why I'm doing this. But I just thought it was funny. Anyway, y'all see that dark sky back there? Holy crap. I drove through some rain a while ago that was just... Just a deluge. Rough. But the sky ahead of me looks uh, blue and uh, inviting, and uh, that's where I'm going. So let's go. So I've stopped here at the Walmart here in Mount Vernon, Missouri, and I picked up uh, I picked up a couple of pairs of pants since I destroyed the only pair that I brought with me this week. And I picked up some other stuff for stacking and meals and some earplugs because I don't sleep without earplugs. That's from all the years of working overnight at Wally World. And now we're going to get back on the road. Uh, we've got uh, about. 50 miles to Joplin or so maybe a little less and uh, we're not going to make it all the way to Catoosa unfortunately So we're going to, uh, there's a rest stop uh, about 60 miles away, and we're going to stop there for the night. And that'll leave me, it'll leave me about 70 miles to drive in the morning. Which is alright. I've already called them. They said they'll take me early. So all i got to do is get there in the morning, they'll take me. So that's what we're going to do. So let's go. That's the end of the day. We've stopped at this rest stop. Lots of parking here. Uh, there's only like three trucks here, four with me included. Uh, so we have only had 35 minutes left on my clock. Uh, really not 
uh, time to get anywhere else. I could have stopped at the casino, uh, take that exit right up here. But uh, then I'm just tempted to go spend money, and I'm not going to do that. Uh, <laughs> so we've got, uh, <coughs> excuse me, got 72 miles left to go. We'll do that in the morning. Uh, we did uh, quite a lot today. Oh man, let's look at the logs. 615 miles. Can't beat that. It's a lot of miles. And it's like 6.30, not even 6.30 yet. So, good day driving. Not a lot of stopping. Uh, awesome day. So we'll see y'all guys tomorrow. I appreciate you being here. Come on back.